Hello YouTube, today we're going to be unboxing the Intel Core i7 processor. This is the 2600K socket LGA 1155. Uh, just to take a look at the packaging on the side here, it lists all the technologies. So you can see it has turbo boost, hyper threading. Last time I seen it, I think it was on Penny and Fours. Uh, HD graphics 300, smart cache technology, integrated memory controller, support of dual channel DDR3, and a standard three year limited warranty. Behind the box, you just got your seal. This is the unlocked version, four cores. And if we just open that. Get the focus back. Why? Oh, you have instruction with a Core i7 badge. You got a standard, looks like eco friendly packaging. They've got their stock fan, it's changed slightly. You can see it's got a copper slug with pre laid thermal paste for you. Uh, it looks very thin. Um, I'm not going to be using this, I wouldn't recommend others to use it unless you're just going to keep it a stock cool but which I think is a waste because it is an unlocked processor so opens up. okay it opens like this right so here's the processor it's a LGA 1155 if you have a look here it's got the sort of model number it's a 3.4 gigahertz at stock and that's the back and if you just bear with me one sec I'll just bring my motherboard and we'll go ahead and install it for you right so here's the motherboard and if I get the camera a bit more angled Right, there we go, should be enough. And this way. Right, I've done a review of this motherboard, so feel free to check it out. How the socket open is as usual as such as the 775, you just sort of clip it up when it opens up. Uh, just to let you guys know, if you're using socket 1156, the fan for the 1156 would fit the 1155 and this because the fan holds are located as the same ignore this is this is just because I've got the a different sort of fan bracket set up there so you just sort of look at the notches and have different notches and it should sort of sit in place so I'm just making double sure and those are the notches there it sort of sits in there so close it in. So then now that's in place, we just need to install it. The heatsink fan, which I will just get. So I've got my heatsink fan here. It's an tour. Once again a review has been done on this. And I'm just taking off the clips here. some space All right. so I'm going to be applying some thermal paste as you can see here and the easiest trick of doing this is I'll just apply a pea sized amount on the middle of the square So 
think that will be enough. And then I sort of sit it on top of the processor. Sort of give it a little wiggle. And you can see he's got a blob on here. It does need to be spread a bit more, which I will do. so my fan can fit in get it right here and the last screw here this is not the Intel fan so don't get confused when you tighten it don't over tighten and don't under tighten just so enough that you're sure it's not going to sort of roll out. Well, once that's done, get the heat sink. And I'm just going to spread the thermal paste a bit more. but you don't need too much and I know that looks a bit messy but shouldn't be a problem now I'm just seating it and lining up the screws sort of fiddly there you go so just slightly tighten the left hand side then the right hand side and then sort of wiggle up wiggle it in that way So I'm just doing my last screws on the fan. Uh, this is a very good fan, I would recommend it. It's not too cumbersome. Uh, it's a nice small fan. I know it looks big, but you'll see in my previous review, it's well recommended. See, I'm doing one screw, then I'm going back to the other screw, sort of balancing the weight out as I, as I screw it in. That one's done. And we have... And here we are. Now, we're clipping our fans. Uh, this is going to be a push and pull configuration. Place it in the heat sink. Can get a bit fiddly, but once you sort of got got one in, like so, 
there you go and the rest can sort of follow on side remember to note where which way the fans blowing out air because from this side it's going to be pushing out air and the other side is going to be pulling air so f f air through and across the heat sink again same with this side seem to find the other clip right got it it sort of fell behind my desk somehow but we got it now so. and that's all done for you sort of zoom out just take it off the tripod sort of pan around Right, so there you have it. And I will put some benchmarks at the end of my video. But I would love it if you viewers please subscribe. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask.